Hello everyone, I'm Triple Z Hacker and welcome to the grand finals of the Shogunate Total War Tournament 2020. This tournament began with 35 players and now only two remain to determine who will be crowned champion. I know you've all been dying for me to upload this video, so I apologize for all the delays. I will be uploading the remainder of the matches still, but I felt it was best to upload this final match now rather than later. As always, like and subscribe for more Shogun 2 and Total War content. Now before we begin the match, let's review the entire bracket and see how each player made it to the Grand Finals. So here is the bracket for the tournaments, and we have the winner's side of the bracket up at the top and the loser's bracket down at the bottom. This was of course a double elimination tournament, and it was a best of three format. Now, we already know both players who made it to the Grand Finals, that is myself and Orlando. So let's track our journey starting in the winner's bracket. So, of course, I started with a draw in the preliminary round. This was chosen at random. So I started here, basically won my way all the way to the winner's finals. And then Orlando started in round one and, of course, won his way to the winner's finals. There we met for the... Um, Winner's finals match, and I won decisively 2-0. To they were still very good games. I recommend you check out that video as well. I've uploaded it already. And um, then, of course, from there, I advance on to the grand finals. Now let's go over Orlando's journey in the loser's round and go over the loser's round bracket. All right, here's the loser's side of the bracket for the tournament. And as you can see, there were a ton of great matches played on this side of the bracket. I know that I'm spoiling some of the results, though for future videos, so I do apologize, but don't worry, the rest of the tournament videos will be uploaded very shortly, as I mentioned, so stay tuned for that. In terms of Orlando's trip to the loser's bracket, it was quite brief. He was able to win the loser's finals and advance on to the grand finals for our rematch. Now, the last thing I want to address before we get into the actual battles for the grand finals is the format and pretty much how either player can win and become champion of the tournament. So for myself, since I was the winner of the winner's bracket, that means I only need to win two battles in order to become champion because Orlando had already previously been eliminated once and he only needs to be eliminated twice since it's double elimination. Meaning that if I win a single best of three by winning two of the battles, that means I am crowned champion. Whereas Orlando has a much tougher challenge ahead as he must eliminate me twice because, as you all know already, the tournament is double elimination, meaning that Orlando must win two separate best of three matches in order to become champion. I hope that clarifies everything for you guys. And um, of course, as the video progresses, I'll update you on the scores and the implications and whatnot throughout. So don't worry about that. Let us now begin with the first battle of grand finals. For the first battle of this match, we're on the map Kawabe River. And this map is an excellent one. It's the one I actually chose since I had the first pick of the map for this first battle. And the reason I like this map is it's very flat and all the key buildings are in a nice central location. Those key buildings are as follows. We have the workshop over on this side, opposite of the river. We have the archery dojo in the center and we have the farmhouse up on this hill over here. Now for the army compositions, I'm going to do this a bit differently for this video in particular, at least when it comes to the grand finals. And as you can see, I'm just going to display them up here for you guys on both sides. I'll have the Ogiyatsu to the left and the Sutsui to the right. So, um, playing as the Yogi Gyatsu, my army composition was pretty standard to what I typically bring. A good, good nice balance of infantry. I don't really like missile units too much in uh, land battles. And um, a nice mixture of cav as well. For Orlando, obviously this is a very, very excellently constructed army. It's a rush army with a lot of Nodachi, some Naginata Warrior Monks to be anti-cav, but also support units. You got the Katana Samurai in there as well, just for some extra, you know, offensive infantry capabilities, and then you have all that nice cav, so a very elite cav force there, especially with the Great Guard added in. So overall, two great army compositions, so this should be a very heavyweight fight and a very exciting match indeed. So let us begin with the first battle right now. And we'll speed things up for the start, as always. So right off the bat, um, Orlando is already in a better position here than I am because he's concentrated all his forces over to go towards the workshop, which is the best dojo or key building out of these three. I did not expect Orlando to actually do this, so it was a bit of, of a, um, a, a bad assumption on my part. 
I do have some Yari Samurai in the area, but they're just not able to contend with this. Like, there's there's no point in just losing the Yari Samurai for nothing. Um, I have some Cav over here as well, but again, just there's not enough to really contend that key building. So instead, I decided to go over for the farmhouse, dismount some Katana Cav to take it, send some Cav over here, maybe just to dominate this side of the map entirely and trap him on the opposite side of the river. However, this is pretty bad for me since I'm the designated attacker. I have to attack, so... Um, having this defensive position here for Orlando is, is going to be really tough to um, overcome. But I think, you know, the farmhouse being the best uh, key building I can get is uh, ought to take it. Now, uh, of course, I have some cav over here to corral this uh, cav by Orlando, but still really good job of just harassing and keeping me at bay. And again, um, of course, we I just want to capture this key building, and I've done that, so now I can bring all my cav and concentrate all my forces maybe on this side of the river. But uh, in actuality, I probably should have concentrated over on this side, so I didn't have to charge across the river. But regardless, I think that's pretty much what I'm planning to do. So here, once again, um, just bringing all my forces over here, and I'll speed things up quite a bit now, actually, so that way we can get into the action. But... Um, it would have been really nice to have some missile units here, I think, for both sides, because some skirmishing would have worked. Again, I didn't really expect my opponent to just be going for one uh, do uh, key building, I should say, but overall it was a very good strategy because it, uh, it threw me off guard quite a bit. So, um, once again here, it would have really been nice to me even, even have, like, match locks or just, like, one bow unit would have been so helpful just to whittle down maybe some of the forces or at least, you know, bait them back quite a bit, but... My whole strategy was to pretty much try to uncapture this building so that neither of us had it and that I had the the farmhouse. And that was my whole goal the entire time, pretty much to uncapture the workshop and then, of course, over time, the stamina of my forces would uh, prevail. So as you can see, um, I'm just marching forward here, getting into posi position. <laughs> Can't talk today. <laughs> but um, this is not looking good because these Nodachis are already charging and, of course, I want to get my Katana Cav in there to charge. So we got a nice... Relatively nice charge, I guess. Not the greatest of charge. It was a bit of an angle, but overall, the two lines clash. And right off the bat, my Nodachis no are getting hammered because I forgot to bonsai most of them. <laughs> Actually, in the center, you can see not even bonsai, not even bonsai. This one bonsai way too late, so they didn't get the charge bonus off. So they're just basically useless. And all my other units are getting into the action way too late. And over here, we got a huge cav fight. And Orlando doing a nice job of isolating my cav over here. Two knocking out of warrior monks squaring off right in the center here blood and guts just spilling everywhere and of course right alongside this river you got action just all across this front line my general of course getting into stand and fight way too late orlando already prepped and ready now here's where my cav was trying to get into the fight and go straight for the general again they just got caught fighting these uh nagadana warrior monks right on this edge i tried to micro them through there but it was poor cav micro on my part and i also forgot to war cry with some of my monks it was way too late so, um, luckily though, I do get this charge off right into his general, right? In, and, and look, he's just sitting in this chair <laughs> and, uh, they completely whiff and miss him. But, uh, at this point it was, it was looking a little too late. My front line was just completely falling. As you can see, this calf came over and supported and routed the warrior monks there. And this whole front line is just gone. All the Ogigiatsu forces are rushing back across the river and shame for display. As you can see, my general, of course, being rushed down too as well. And the Tsutsui troops pursuing them across the river for a victory. So Orlando strikes first in the grand finals and takes a 1-0 lead in this opening set. So now we were on to the second battle of this match. Welcome to the second battle of this first opening match of the first set of Grand Finals. So, we're on the map Rice Fields, one of the tournament favorites. Orlando chose this map, and there are three key buildings. We have the shrine on this side. In the center is the farmhouse, and on the far side is the sword dojo. So, the shrine and sword dojo, two excellent buildings for both of us to try to secure, and the farmhouse also no slouch either. Now, let's review the army compositions real briefly. There were uh, some subtle changes here. For my army composition, it was very similar, except this time I ditched the Katana Cav and went um, for just more infantry, so I got some extra Katana Samurai. And uh, Orlando there went a li little bit more heavily on the Cav, bringing in actually some Light Cav and uh, switching out the uh, Great Guard instead. So overall, still two great army compositions here, and um, this should be, once again, an excellent heavyweight bout. Now, I was very confident uh, coming in with my army composition. I think Orlando was as well. I mean, 
again, this is these are very elite level armies, so this should be, like I said, very exciting to watch. So let us begin the second battle. And right off the bat, both armies advance forward steadily. Right here, I was pretty much aiming for the shrine and the farmhouse just to capture both of them and just hold this position here. I have some Yari Samurai going over there for the Sword Dojo. Of course, Orlando counters wisely with some Nodachis. Here, I maybe should have rushed out some Cav just to hit them really, really quickly or something. But um, overall, again, I just want to force concentrate here. As you can see, a bonsai going off uh, for those Nodachis all the way over there. But uh, I bring my Cav over this way to counter all this Cav um, as well on this side. But over here um, in the center, I think I have a distinct advantage with all the troops I have. So here we go. The bonsai is going off there and everything. And now here comes my cav rushing forward. And this was a very fatal error on my part. And as you can see, uh, charging here, I have to react here. And of course, I react to the charge a little bit slowly with the micro. But overall, I'm getting all my forces in. And boom, right here, Orlando's cav charging in and my cav just standing still. Just horrible, 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 horrible. Look at all this cav just getting charged down right here. This this is utter, utter slaughter. Utter slaughter. No infantry units supporting them. They're just dead. Completely dead. I send over some Naginata Warrior Monks, and by this point, boom, here comes the Katana Cav. Excellently timed charge right into this weak position right here. I had the center locked up nicely, but my general is now under attack, and there's not much I can do about it. I have two. You have a unit over there dying by the Sword Dojo. And uh, this entire side is collapsing. But over here, I'm making settled progress, so hopefully I can make it to his general in time. But overall, my general is now under attack already. And you can just see the front line just around here just slowly falling apart. All these monks pouring in here as well, killing the remainder of uh, some of the Sutsui Cav, trying to defend my general to the bitter end. But now the Cav just rushes in and... It's just a slaughter. My general stands no chance. He'll only hold out much longer. I get some Katana Samurai over to his general, but it's not enough. Not quick enough. You can see just all my units over here just out of position, unable to defend. And maybe at this point I'm thinking, you know, there is a chance I can get all my infantry back, hold my general and everything. But overall, it's just not looking good. All this cav here in this area, it is vulnerable to my infantry. But once my general routes, which already is, it's, it's just too late. It's too late. I mean, just look at all this carnage, though, and, and look at all these troops of the Sutsui rushing over. My troops rushing over, trying to get there as soon as possible, but it is lost. My general has fallen at this point, and uh, even my Katana Samurai can't beat uh, the Sutsui general who holds bravely on that far side. So overall, you can see Okiyatsu warrior monks just slowly jogging off the field and uh, now getting running down by some cav as well. So it, uh... Appears that the Ogiyatsu were not so formidable as we thought. And um, once again, the Sisui claim victory this time. So Orlando wins the first set of Grand Finals 2-0. Which means we go to a second set. Because as I mentioned earlier, I have to be eliminated twice from the tournament. So I have lost once and now either of us are up in the air pretty much in terms of who gets eliminated. So this last match will determine... Who is the champion? So whoever wins two battles out of the next three is the winner of the tournament. So here we go. The first battle of set number two. Welcome to the second set of grand finals for the first battle. We're on the map floodplain. There are three key buildings. We have the workshop here, farmhouse in the center, and shrine on the far side. For the army compositions, I brought uh, a pretty interesting army, I'd say, Certainly wasn't my best army of this uh, entire Grand Finals. I ranked up the Ari Cav, which was a silly idea, but overall it's still like a, a fine army. I have like uh, the Ari Ashigaru for the extra Cav support potentially, but overall um, not my best army composition. As for Orlando's army and the Sutsui, um, it looks standard and um, pretty much what he brought um, for several of the games already, or at least I think the second uh, game of Grand Finals, so really great army composition there. All right, so... Let's see what happens, and let's see who draws first blood in this second set of Grand Finals. And we'll speed things up for the opening. Right off the bat, just both of us move forward. I immediately head for the Shrine. Um, I think I probably could have gone for the Workshop a bit more, but uh, this is where the battle just ended up taking place here, around the Farmhouse and the Shrine. 
Probably should have sent something over to the workshop to potentially cap it, but uh, did not have the opportunity because uh, these battles happen very quickly. So you can see all this cav over here just pushing the back. And then here comes the cav over here, the Yari cav rushing over on this side. And um, react a bit slowly to it, but um, of course I have all these sword units here that are a bit vulnerable. But overall, I should have probably sent some cav over there immediately. Oh, there's my cav actually attacking that cav there. Sorry, that was my cab, but oh, again, they just stopped attacking. <laughs> I think I just, just focus on what's going on over here. So we have a huge charge here between the Nodachis and boom, the Yari cab right in the center. That's just devastating right there. Um, and my cab again is just sitting there over there. Should have charged into um, Orlando's cab there. And of course, there's a huge fight going on on this side. Um, cab versus cab, Nodachis versus Nodachis. My general here is in a very vulnerable position, a very bad position, haven't stand in and fight i should have should have have over here but uh i sent my two cav units over this way to get into the fight and leave some spears to sort of thwart that cav but uh i charge right into some naginata worry monks with that cav very bad decision there should have sent them over there to help on this flank so very poor cav micro of course some katana samurai still getting over to the front but overall i'm just you know i'm able to get to the general a bit but it's not enough Right now, it's 4v1 over on this side, so lost this entire flank, really. And then, of course, in the center, I mean, just look at all this carnage. The Sutsui fighting bravely, Ogiyatsu fighting bravely as well. On this side, it seems the Ogiyatsu are going to take it, although um, not as decisively as I would have liked. And in the center, it looks like the Ogiyatsu are actually breaking, though. You can see just a horses trampled and, I mean... Or men getting trampled under horses, horses falling, monks charging in here. It's just brutal. It's brutal. And as you can see, I mean, right now it looks like my Yari Ashigaru are just out of the battle. And I just don't have enough men here. And here comes a charge right into my general. Oof. So really good by the Sutsui here of winning the center of the melee. Even though I was not able to capture the shrine, but... Yeah, nobody captured any key buildings this time, and of course the war cries here just killer. Killer for the morale, because the general is already dead. Or at least nearly routed. Oh no, actually the general's still alive. <laughs> what am I what am I what am I saying? General's last one left nearly, pretty much. <laughs> just holding on with some Yari uh, Naginata Warrior Monks and or no, Yari Ashigaru, or Yari, Yari Samurai, I should say. There's some warrior monks still fighting, but um, again, the, those initial charge with the cab really, really did me in. You can see just this field littered with bodies. So, and there's the last brave Yari Ashigaru there <laughs> holding off against some Nodachis and monks. <laughs> and over here, we got a final last stand of the Ogigiatsu general. There he is in the center. A monk charges him. Oh, but uh, I think by this point, I resigned. So I conceded defeat is uh, what, what the actual term is. So... Um, I knew it was lost at that point. So uh, once again, Orlando strikes first and takes a one nothing lead in the second set. That means Orlando is one game from victory and I am one game from defeat. Now we move on to the second battle of this second set. For the second battle of this second set of grand finals, we're on the map Daisetsu's and Basin. And there are two key buildings for this map. We have the Sword Dojo down here and the Archery Dojo on the opposite end. Now, the Sword Dojo is the better of the two, so both of us are going to be fighting over the Sword Dojo quite extensively, I feel like, as we both love using aggressive armies. Now, for the army compositions, once again, uh, I bring a very similar army. This time, though, I focus on a lot of elite infantry, so a huge infantry corps with some support cav. Orlando, however, brings two matchlock Ashigaru. Still the same relative army corps, though, that he typically brings, but the two matchlocks are the first missile units of this grand final so it'll be interesting to see how orlando incorporates them to the rest of his army now i must win this battle in order to have a chance at winning the tournament obviously if orlando wins this battle he is the champion so let's see what happens and we'll speed things up for the start as always so here come the naginata samurai rushing out forward i'm going for the sword dojo orlando knows this brings the nodachis coming this way they're a very good counter to the Naginatas, and both of us are going for the center. We want control over the center position. Of course, I rush all my cav out straight away. There's no point in hiding any units. You just got to bring everybody up to the front line because the combat will happen very shortly. I send some Katana cav over here to counter the Nodachis. Here come the Great Guard, though. 
countering my Katana Cav. And there's a Yari Cav from the Sitsui charging out. Of course, I bring two Yari Cav units to counter that and to protect my Katana Cav. Now here, my Katana Cav are still a little bit vulnerable to the Great Guard, but I got the two Yari Cav over here as backup. And in the center, of course, both of us are still advancing onward. And here we go, charging some Yari Cav into those Great Guard. I'm happy to pretty much try to kill that Great Guard. But at the same time as I'm doing that, here comes the action in the center. The no dachis clash right in the center of the battle. Straight away, I mean, heads flying, bodies being sliced in half there. And of course, the rest of the units and troops start pouring into this meat grinder. There's three cav units rushing up there. The general, of course, dismounting, going to stand and fight. And that is a brutal, brutal cav charge. There come the, the Naginata warrior monks there to be the anti-cav on that side to secure that flank. Of course, my general bringing him over onto this side in a secure, safe position. In the previous battles, I hadn't really put my general in a safe spot. And of course, I bring these cav units out from uh, this Naginata Warrior Monk's grasp. And on this side, um, it seems like I have the advantage of infantry in the center. Right now, it looks like we are made it to the general. So you got some no dachis there. You also have the Katana Cav rushing straight towards the Sutsui general. So Orlando is in very dire trouble right now. And of course, the matchlocks are opening fire, but um, they kind of shot some of their own men. And also, they're not really doing enough of an impact. My Cav comes in from the rear here to fight some of the Sutsui Cav on this side, who are actually making uh, quite a dent, but they are fighting Naginata Warrior Monks over here, so they're trapped. And in the center, we've now... It seems like the Okihiyatsu have killed the Sutsui General. There you have it. I mean, wow. As, uh, that's a very crippling blow. And, uh, of course, all the Okihiyatsu force is now free to go charge the Matchlocks head-on. And the Matchlocks, I mean, reloading as quick as they can, firing at point-blank range here. All the smoke, blood. And, of course, uh, the rest of the Sutsui forces are retreating now. So even though uh, War cried, I mean, these Naginata Warrior Monks are the last ones remaining, I think, along with this Matchlock unit, but they're already wavering. Here come Ogigiyatsu Katana Samurai charging in. <laughs> Of course, the matchlocks want to have none of it and are shamefully running for the hills. And, I mean, there you have it. The Ogiyatsu now are just wrapping things up. And, of course, um, I was very thrilled to have this victory. <coughs> now you know what this means, though. This means that the next battle determines everything. You win and take it all. This is Armageddon. This is Game 3, Set 2, the final battle of the Grand Finals to determine who is the champion of the Shogunate Total War Tournament 2020. Welcome to the final battle of the Shogunate Total War Tournament 2020. Throughout this entire tournament, clan after clan and battle after battle fought for supremacy as they did centuries ago in feudal Japan. And now we're finally here. On the final field for the final showdown, two clans remain. The winner takes all, and to the victor goes the spoils. So we're on the map Chugoku River, and there are three key buildings. We have the Sword Dojo here. In the center, we have the farmhouse, and on the far side over there, we have the workshop. Now for the army compositions. As you can see for the army composition this time, I brought Yari Ashigar and Light Cav. I still kept a remaining core of the army I typically bring, but I wanted those extra units just as support. Um, and I hoped extra numbers would prevail in this final battle. As for Orlando and the Tsutsui, there's still, of course, that stellar army composition there. A very aggressive army. Tons of elite cav. So once again, Orlando here bringing all the firepower he can muster for this final battle. So let's see who wins. And of course, we'll speed things up, as always. But then slow them down when the action begins. So right off the bat... Both of us advance forward. Both of us are going for the Sword Dojo, obviously. I bring my Cav towards the center. My Yari Ashigar were going for this workshop, but then I started to reroute them towards the battle because I didn't want them to be sort of just out of position. As you can see, the Cav staring each other down on this left flank of mine and on the right flank of Orlando. Over here, you got all the infantry <laughs> rushing towards one another and concentrating near this hill. It seems that uh, the Sutsui might go for the high ground here. And boom, there comes the Cav rushing forward. The Sutsui Cav pursuing the Ogihiyatsu 
forces as they retreat away. Some by Yari Ashigaru makes it over here to disperse some of the cav, and boom, here comes the counter charge. The horn sound chasing the cav down through the woods here. Let's see if they catch them. There we go, the charge. On the other side, though, the Nodachis rush forward with the bonsais. And so it begins. The epic final battle. And look, there's so much fighting going on on this side. It looks like the Cav squaring off against one another. The Ariashigaru come over here to support. And some Cav breaks through my back rank. Whereas the center is relatively holding. You got all this infantry over here right in the center. Just fighting right by the sword dojo. Blood spilling guts everywhere. My general is in a bad position. So I move him over to be defended by my troops. I bring some Naginatas over here to defend my flank. Here comes some more Katana Cav rushing in towards the center. A nice downhill charge, thundering over the hill, trampling over forces. And over here, looks like the Yogi Yatsu are winning in this fight. The Katana Samurai, they're rushing over to support. In the center here, you got three against two. And over here on this hillside is the Tsutsui General watching the action unfold. And there goes a charge by the Yari Cav trying to aim for the general, but the Naginata Samurai... Defending their master come just in time to protect the daimyo. And of course, the Sensui are kind of breaking forward here as well, though. And there's a lot of pressure on this center. Despite this, though, it looks like the Sensui general, though, is also under some pressure on that hillside. But again, uh, the Ogigiyatsu are still holding, despite the general being under some pressure. But here comes the Ogigiyatsu cav rushing back into the battle. And it appears these Naginata Samurai over there are victorious as well. And the center is still looking dangerous. The general is also in trouble here, but so is the Tsutsui general up on the hill. Both are fighting for their lives. Oh gosh, this is anyone's battle. This is anyone's battle. It's still up in the air. There's so much Ogiyatsu forces out of position over here. The cav rushing away, but oh, it looks like the Tsutsui general has fallen. And the Ogiyatsu general still remains. As the forces were able to come over and support just in the nick of time. And there you have it. The winner of the Shogunate Total War Tournament is yours truly, Triple Z Hacker. So much congratulation in order for myself. Of course, though, this was an excellent duel against Orlando. Five incredible battles all coming down to the wire. So GG's to Orlando. It was such a great final battle. And what a way to end such a great tournament. I want to thank so many people um, for organizing this tournament, particularly 47th Ronin. And of course, without uh, further ado, got to mention the uh, host of the tournament, the Shogunate YouTube channel. Such an honor to be able to organize all this and also to be able to produce all these videos for you guys. I really, really am thankful for the Shogunate YouTube and all the support he's given me throughout this uh, tournament. Just once again, it was a very incredible tournament. I'm really thankful for all the participants as well for all their efforts and giving us, the viewers, so many great and entertaining battles to watch for a game that we all love. The last thing I want to mention is, of course, that uh, this will be very exciting to see what happens in the next tournament. So thank you all again so much for watching. Take care.